Welcome to 3D Printing News, I'm your host Mike, and I try to keep everybody up to date with the latest happenings in 3D printing, or just anything I find interesting. We actually had some Bamboo Lab leaks happen. Now, I'm not entirely sure if these are 100% real images. Everything I try to like cross-check, I asked even ChatGPT if these were real images, and there was no indication that any of these images were AI generated, but that's not saying that they couldn't be AI generated. These do come from a Reddit post where the user actually claims they're from the bamboo lab handy app when they were looking at accessories or something but they actually say they're accessories so with this being said we have an accessory that looks like it may be on the h2c and then we have a few other things that indicate or look to potentially a new tool head being for the x2d maybe or is it still going to be the x2c we don't really know so let's go ahead and take a closer look so first things first, right, the H2C, what it looked like, the potential leak was this buffer on the back. Is this a quicker way for doing TPU? Not really sure. You can kind of see the routing here where there is still the two PTFE tubes down on the bottom or the PTF tube on the back here going into this buffer. And then you have, you know, this box thing. Is this a way to cut the filament here? Not really sure. I think there was an accessory coming out to actually be able to use one AMS in each tool head. So is that this? That's what it possibly looks to indicate. So there's just another image here. It looks like maybe that's a filament cutter there. And there's a tube on each side. Maybe not really quite sure how this is going to work. Maybe you guys some have, have some extra knowledge, but you can see in the image, like the gray tube is on one side and then the white tube is on the other, indicating that they are both routing there. So maybe that's like speeding up the time of the H2C. And if it can cut from this like rectangle, maybe it would cut down some of the time it takes to do a color swap, maybe like 10 seconds or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? What is this? Now, this is where it starts to get interesting and where it could be the X2D. Now you look at this, this looks like a reworked tool head. It still has the camera, you know, it has the tool nozzle, two nozzles. So are we gonna get a dual nozzle 3D printer being the X2D? Maybe they'll call it the X2D now. That would make sense that maybe they'll keep the X series just kind of like this mid range color swapping system. I don't see why they would do the dual head 3D printer system if they weren't going to put Vortec on it. That would make zero sense to me and I'm not really sure there's a market just for a dual print head 3D printer right now. It seems to be that the Vortec is going to be coming to the next X series printer which a lot of us were starting to speculate anyway. So moving on we have another image. This is a completely different tool head than that that is on the, the H2C, the H2D from what I could tell. Like, Taking off this front panel, the H2C looks completely different from any images. Now, maybe this is just a render, maybe internally it's like different. Maybe this is, I don't know. But this seems to be a completely new tool head where they're actually gonna be using this. Now, it doesn't look as fancy or as like gear ridden and it looks more basic. So is it slower or does it perform just as well? Is this just one of the cheaper options that they started engineering for the X series printer? Or is this still an improvement because it's, are they going to phase the H2D out and then come out with a different tool? I, I, that doesn't seem to make sense. The printer's not even a year old, but maybe this is just a, a cheaper option and somehow it's not as good as the H2D or maybe it's just as good just some slight improvements, but they still plan on keeping the H2D or maybe the H2Ds going forward have this new improved tool head. But I'd be kind of salty if I bought a, you know, H2D recently and that happened. Um, I get, maybe it's not as big because the printer's not as big. I don't know. There's a lot to talk about here. I'm not like some sort of 3D printer expert to tell you guys how this is. This is what this is. This is what I'm just here to show you the leaks and give you the news. I mean, I get excited about the technology. So moving on to the next image, you can see here just a little bit more where they're putting the filament in. You got the tube here um, as far as like the white one. And then you got the orange. Everything seems kind of the same. It's in line. This is the image I actually put into AI to see if it was real or fake. I mean, it doesn't look like the H2C with the dual extruder, two tubes going into that print head. Uh, it kind of seems to me, at least like this seems to be a more budget friendly dual print head 
3D printer or dual nozzle, I guess it's not necessarily printed, 3D printer that Bamboo Lab is gonna come out with. And maybe if they offered this around $1,000, do people steer this way and not to the snap maker? Cause you can do all the additional colors with AMSs and stuff. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's a possibility, maybe 1500 or maybe not that much, maybe 1300 and you get the Vortex system where you get even more access, easy access to swapping nozzles. Is that worth it versus 800, I think it is, and $50 for a snap maker? I don't know, you know, all the customers are gonna be the ones to make those judgments. But as far as that, then it looks like they're actually gonna have a sensor as well. Potentially this doesn't really indicate what 3D printer it's for, but it looks like they're going to add like the, the build plate checker on this new 3D printer as well, which totally makes sense. They have that on the H series. So with all this being said, what do you guys think? Is this a printer that you would go ahead and pick up or is this a pass? Is this what you were looking for? It kind of seems to indicate that the Vortec is coming to the X series of printers, which can get a lot of people excited, I believe. And it's a more affordable Vortex of somewhere. Maybe even I look at purchasing one versus what's been coming out. I've been priced out with all of the expensive stuff coming out and it's, it's all cool, right? And you know, I, I don't make that much from YouTube to like just get these things for free. I don't have that big of a following. And so it's, it's hard for me even to justify buying some of these things. And that's where if I use them, I like them, you know, then I can recommend like, hey, save your money for this stuff. But right now, just everything new coming out is just pricing me, even me out. And I make extra money on the side doing this. So with that being said, guys, what do you think of this? Is this something you would pick up? Remember to hit that follow button or I guess that subscribe button, hit that like button. Comment down below on the video what you would like to see in 3D printing news and what you think of the potential X2 2d x2c maybe it's going to be called the x2c or they're going to have two options like like the h2d and the x2c they're probably going to have two 3d printers now i just thought of that in my brain it makes total sense to have the x2d and the x2c sell the vortex upgrade system kit for it it just makes so much sense to carry that over to the x series but what do you guys think again remember you know, you know what to do. And thank you to all my members for supporting the channel. Till next time.